What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're doing season five, episode six of Vikings. Yes. They're finally here. And we have much to blind. We handed on a cliffhanger. Um trying to figure out what's going to happen be to Bjorn. Uh, I don't remember the other guy's name, okay? The other two that's with him. <laughs> I don't remember their name. Um, but right now, they're in trouble, okay? Don't know if they're going to get their heads cut off, which I don't think is going to happen because the sandstorm is coming. So that might give them a chance to escape somehow. So we don't know. They're trying to, they, they look like they were going to chop off their heads. So I don't know what's going to happen. They were trying to do it before the storm came. So as, as I said, I don't think it's going to happen because it's Bjorn. Bjorn is not going to die like this. Like, Bjorn is not supposed to die like this. I don't expect him to die like this. That would be crazy. So, somehow they're going to escape. So, we're going to get to see how that goes. Back home, we got the alliances that are being formed. Lagatha, Lagatha is, is, um, is worrying about war coming to... To Katagat, to, to you know what I'm saying, to Katagat and freaking Floki's out here. <laughs> Floki's out here trying to 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 lure true believers away to the promised land. Okay, so we got Uba, right? Um, we got Uba joining with an, an alliance with Lagatha, so we got that going on. Um, and also we got. Um, Ivar taking the priest back to, I think they're heading back to Katagat. That wasn't made clear during the last episode. But anyways, man, we're going to jump into this. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go watch this episode. Let's get ready for it. And I'll see you guys for the review. Alright, so we got some interesting things to discuss here for season five episode six i mean headman look like he's actually um chosen to fight with ivar because i mean if you guys don't know in the christian faith suicide is a sin so you can't kill yourself like that was like he's not gonna kill himself because he's such a diehard um christian you, um, you don't kill yourself. It's a sin. You're not going to, you know, the the belief is that if you kill yourself, it's a sin. So you're not going to go to heaven because you took your own life. Taking any any type of way of taking a life is a sin. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so that's why I knew that he wasn't going to kill himself. Um, didn't know he was going to kill the dude though. But in any case, um, yeah, Bjorn is returning to Katagat. So that's good. I want to see what is going to be his reaction because is Ivar going to still go now? Because he, you know what I'm saying? Like, is Ivar going to still go into attack knowing that Bjorn is there? Um, I think he might second guess it, but at the same time, maybe King Harold might push it and be like, yo, I'm not afraid of Bjorn. But you guys got to understand that. Um, at least I got to understand that. I mean, at this point, I already told you guys that the only person fit to be king right now is Bjorn. Tell you guys why. I know, you know, we had, I had this discussion and somebody was really pointing out great comment, by the way, um, on the last reaction that I did. We we're talking about how Ivar, um, all, of, all of the sons, right, of Ragnar has some distinctful, distinctive Distinctful is not a word. Distinctive characters, <laughs> right? Um, unless distinctful is a word, I'm not sure. Distinctive characters of Ragnar, you know what I'm saying? Like each of them kind of get a piece of him. Some of them get little pieces here. They, you know, they all share traits of Ragnar. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think Bjorn has the strongest position to be king, and the reason why is because he has. The leadership skill he has already proven himself you get what i'm saying i'm not saying the others if you look at fighting wise and being in battles um bjorn has the most experience he has 
the qualities. He has the the um he has those qualities. I think he has he's more of Ragnar than either of the others. You get what I'm saying? Next in line would be Ivar in my opinion. I think Ivar got the smarts, you know what I'm saying, and the like the battle knowledge, you know, so I think for the most part he he got that. You get what I'm saying? So Bjorn kind of shares a lot of Ragnar's traits. I like him as a character um in the show also, so that helps with my decision <laughs> you know for making him um king. I do believe that he's the better choice to be king. I think Lagatha should step down and let her son be king. She doesn't have to be queen. Um, I get where Mar Margaret, Margaret, whatever her name is, is coming from when she's saying Lagatha is kind of showing weakness and all of this other stuff. Like, I, I do get it. I get where she's coming from. But also, there's also this thing about believing in someone until they fail, especially she has not failed yet. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, she protected Kattegat off from the first attack. If you did not remember that, let me remind you, Margaret. They did, she did protect the, the, um, the, 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 the first attempt, captured the guy and everything. I know it wasn't a full on attack. It was kind of like all over the place. They thought they could do it just because they were kind of building the towers at the time and all this other stuff. So they thought it could kind of like catch them off guard or whatever, you know, but it didn't happen. She defended Kattegat successfully. That is a dub. You can't deny someone when they when they're winning. If she fails, then you have an argument. But you can't say this just because she's letting people off the hook and all of this other stuff. She let Floki go and like, oh, if it was a man, if it was if there was a king here, you know what I'm saying? Like this wouldn't happen. Like I gotta see somebody fail first before I say, hey, they can't do the job. She has not failed yet, so I cannot say that she is failing at being queen the only thing that I, that she has done so far during the entire um of the overtaking that she did that i said was wrong was her killing queen queen aslog i did not agree with that i did not think that's why i was like are they trying to let me hate lagatha at this point as much as i did not really like queen aslog and how she came in and took ragnar and all this other stuff she kind of grew on me so I still didn't really like her attitude at some point because she kind of like when Ragnar was, was away, you know what I'm saying? Because I think Ragnar never cheated on her, you know what I'm saying? She He cheated with her, you know, on Lagatha, but he never cheated on, on Queen Aslog. I don't remember him being with anybody else. It was after he found out about, um, after he... After he found out about the dude that came Harbard or whatever, the dude that was supposed to be the traveler or whatever, um, after he found out about that, then he ended up with the Chinese, the, I was going to say the Chinese slave, <laughs> no, the, um, the Asian girl, right, that he freed and stuff like that, that I, I, I don't even think, did they, I mean, they did stuff, so let's just call it, you know what I'm saying, but that was after he found out about all of that. So it doesn't even really count. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, it doesn't it, it doesn't really count as him cheating on her because she kind of did it first. You know what I'm saying? And they, she, when he found out about it, you know what I'm saying? Like he, you know, did, you know, cussed her out, whatever, whatever. Um, I don't necessarily, he didn't really cuss her out. It was more like he was mad about it, whatever. It was like, you chose to do this while I was, gone or whatever trying to find somewhere better for a, you know what i'm saying you know, typical stuff but as i said as much as i didn't really like queen aslog lagatha would she, she shouldn't have she should have just let her leave you get what i'm saying because there was none she didn't have anybody on her side she, you know what i'm saying if she banished her what are the boys going to come back and say you get what I'm saying? Like, oh, you took over the kingdom, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, she this is her decision. She could have come back and took that because all in all, Kataga kind of belonged to her before it belonged to Aslog, in my opinion. So 
um, they would have been mad, but they wouldn't have been trying to say, okay, we're going to kill Lagatha because, because of what? Now they, they going to try to kill her because, hey, you killed our moms. Reason for them to come back with revenge, right? So when it comes to that, I totally disagreed with that. Other than that, it's straight dubs for her. She's created an alliance with Uber. That's a good thing that she did. Um, so Margaret is kind of questioning just little, little stuff that's happening here and there and saying that she, and she hasn't really made a bad decision. She let Floki go because Floki is an old G, you know what I'm saying? He's a G. You can't just, you get what I'm saying? Like at this point, you should know that he's a diehard dude when it comes on to the gods. So she knew this was going to happen regardless of if somebody snitched, she knew this was going to happen. You know, and now it seems like Floki is wrong. It seems like he was delusional or something. It doesn't seem like that land is off the gods. It seems like maybe he was just because of the almost drowning. You know what I'm saying? He was kind of like water was still in his head or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know, so I'm looking forward to see what where they're going to take this. Um, but most anticipated, of course, is Bjorn returning to Kattegat and hearing all of what's been going on since he's been away. So we'll get to see what's happening. So, yeah, man. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you leave a comment and also subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys for all of you guys that, that are that came back and watched the review, man. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you leave a comment and let me know if you did. That would be awesome um, because I'm planning some big things for the people who have been doing that. I'm planning to do a giveaway of sorts um, in the upcoming month or so um, of people who have been coming back and checking out the reviews. You just have to let me know in the comment section. If you don't let me know in the comment section, I cannot enter you into that contest so if you want to be entered into that contest and you're hearing the sound of my voice right now at the end of this video let me know in the comment section okay so thank you guys for tuning in as always it's there about reacts peace